Bonjour et bienvenue, this is Lama Delis and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to recreate the awesome hoodie corset by Mugler. You know that cool collab Mugler did with H&M? Well, their hoodie corset was a hot item that sold out crazy fast. But no worries because I decided to recreate the pattern to share with all of you. This design takes cues from Teddy Mugler's classic styles like this suit over here. And what's super cool about this is how the new director of the fashion house turned that high-end vibe into something that you can rock on the streets. Anyway, so let's dive into the pattern making. For the corset pattern, I will use the basic back and front torso block. And I have a separate tutorial for the basic torso block and kindly check it out if you don't have one. Next, for the hood top, I will use the dartless or knit basic block and I also have a separate tutorial for this one and if you don't have one, kindly check it out. Next, I've prepared a metal jacket zipper here. The zipper will determine the length of my jacket and the measurement of the zipper is 17 6 8 inches and I will base the corset and the hood top length with this zipper. Now let's move on to the design analysis of the hoodie corset. The corset starts from the underbust until 5 inches below or more from the waist with bones. The length of the corset will depend on how long your zipper is. The shoulder is extended giving it an oversized look. There is a pleating on the bust. Because the hoodie top does not have structured darts, pleating can give room for the bust area. Flat or kimono sleeves. This type of sleeve is used for shirts, sweatshirts, and or hoodies. This kind of sleeve does not have a cap ease. Metal or plastic jacket zipper. This kind of zipper is made out of two pieces that separates. Used for jackets and other garments. And a basic hood, which is used for sweatshirts and hood jackets. Now let's dive into the corset pattern. To start off, trace your back and front basic torso only from the bust line until the hip line. And trace the back and front waist starts. So let's work on the front corset first. From the waistline, mark down 3.5 inches or 9 centimeters. And square in a line. This is the small hip level. Next, get the halfway between the side seam and the front waist start. And mark in the halfway measurement. From the halfway mark, square in a line towards the bust line and the small hip line. This line is for the second front dart. From the second dart line, mark out weights of an inch or one centimeter each side. And square in the dart legs until the bust line and small hip line. And now we have a second dart. From the bust line, mark down 3 inches or 7.6 centimeters. And square in a line, and this is the underbust or empire line. And disregard the excess space from the bust line to underbust. Next, get the measurement of each panel and record. From the under bust at center front, mark down your desired corset length. This will depend on your zipper length. For me, I've used 858 inches or 22 centimeters, but always refer to the length of your zipper. Next, from the waistline at side seam, mark down 268 inches or 7 centimeters. And draw the hemline for the corset. When drawing the hemline, make it sure to hit the end of the darts and draw your desired shape.
and place the zipper at the center front and mark in the under bust or empire line for reference. Next, get the halfway measurement between center front and the front waist start and mark in the halfway and square line. And don't forget to label your front corset panels. And cut out the panels from your paper. So this is how it will look like. For the back corset, mark down 3.5 inches or 9 centimeters from the waist. And square in a line. This is the small hip line. Next, get the halfway between the side seam and the back waist dart. And mark in the halfway measurement. And from the halfway mark, square in a line towards the bust and small hip lines. This is the second back dart. And mark out weights of an inch or 0.6 centimeter each side. And square in the dart legs until the bust and small hip lines. This is the second back dart. From the bust line, mark down 3 inches or 7.6 centimeters. And square in a line, and this is the under bust or empire line. And disregard the excess space from the bust line to under bust. Next, from center back at waist, mark in a 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters line and disregard the excess. We will add a panel later on in here since the back will have a lace-up closure. From the side seam at waist, mark down 2 6 8 inches or 7 centimeters seam as front. And square in a line for the back corset hemline. Next, label the back corset panels and cut out the panels from your paper. Next, get a new piece of paper, place panel 1 on the paper and trace off the new center back. From center back, mark out at least 1.5 inches or 3.8 centimeters for the back panel. And square a line. And do not forget to label this panel on fold. This panel will conceal the skin at the back since the back closure will be a lace up. And we are done with the corset patterns. Now let's move on to the top pattern. To start off, trace the knit block on your paper only until the waistline. Next, get the zipper and place it on the center front. And mark in the underbust mark that we did earlier for the corset. And continue on marking this until the side seam. And square a line. And disregard the excess at the bottom. Next, place the corset panels at the under bust line of the top pattern. And follow the measurements of the corset panels. And mark in the measurement of the corset panels. And from this mark, draw a slant line towards the underarm side seam. 
and cut out this excess. Next, from the underarm side seam, mark down at least 1 8 inches or 4.4 centimeters. And from this mark, redraw the armhole to enlarge. And cut out the excess. Next, get the halfway measurement of the shoulder slope and mark it in. And from the halfway mark, square in a line until the under bust line. And cut through this line, making two pieces. And don't forget to label the top panels. Next, get a new paper and square in a left hand side vertical line. And a perpendicular line at the bottom part of your paper. Next, mark out at least 4 inches or 10 centimeters. And square in a line. Next, place the panel 2 at the left hand side. And tape it in place. And place panel 1 at the right hand side. And tape it in place. And now the top pattern is enlarged. Next, redraw the shoulder slope from neck tip to shoulder tip. And next, mark in the halfway of the enlargement. And mark up 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters for the tucking line for the pleat. And we are done with the front and back top patterns. And now let's move on to the sleeve pattern. To draft the sleeve pattern, take the armhole measurement of the top pattern. And record this measurement. On your paper, draw a T-line. And fold this D-line in half. We will draft the sleeve pattern only on one side. And label the top line A. And from A, mark down your sleeve length, example 22 inches or 56 centimeters. And square in a line and label this line B from A mark down 3 inches or 7.6 centimeter for the cap height and square in a line and label this line C Next, get the halfway between A and B and mark the halfway measurement from B. And square in a line. And label this line D. From A, measure out the armhole touching line C and mark. And label this mark E. Next, square in a slant line from E to A. And divide this line into fourths. Next, from the first mark, mark up to eighths of an inch or 0.6 centimeter. 
and from the third mark, mark down 1 8 of an inch or 0.3 cm. And draw the curve lines as shown. From B, mark in the half of the wrist measurement and label this mark F. From F, square in a slant line towards E and trace the pattern to make a copy on the other side of your paper. And we are done with the flat or kimono sleeve pattern. And lastly, let's move on to the basic hood pattern. To draft the basic hood, first get the measurement of the front and back neckline as shown. And record these measurements. On your paper, draw a half T line. And label the corner zero. On your knit block, get the measurement of the back waist length. And get the three fourths of the back waist length plus 1.5 inches or four centimeters. And mark down this measurement from zero. Label this mark 1. And continue marking this measurement from 0. And square in a line. From 1, mark down to 3 eighths inches or 6 centimeters. And label this mark 2. And continue marking down this measurement from 1. And square in a line. From the vertical line, mark out the front and back neck measurement. Mark out this measurement from 0 and 2. And square a line. And label these lines 3 and 4. From 1, square in a slant line until 3. And from 1, mark in the back neck measurement and label it 5. And get the halfway measurement from 1 to 5 and mark. And from the halfway, mark up to 8 of an inch or 0.6 cm. From 1, draw a curve line until 5. Next, get the halfway measurement from 3 to 5. And mark in the halfway measurement. From the halfway mark, mark down 3 eighths of an inch or 1 centimeter. And draw a curve line from 5 to 3. Next, get the halfway measurement between 0 to 4. And mark in the halfway measurement. And label this mark 6. Next, get the 1 fourth measurement from 0 to 1 plus 6 eighths of an inch or 2 centimeters. And mark this measurement from 0. And label this mark 7. From 7, mark out 6 eighths of an inch or 2 centimeters and label it 8. And next, draw a curve line from 6, 8 until 1. Next, from line 4 and 3, mark out 1.5 inches or 4 centimeters for the facing. And fold the facing and trace the curve line at number 3.
And now we have a basic hood pattern. Anyway guys, I hope this tutorial gave you enough tips on how to create the pattern for the hoodie corset by Mugler. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to comment down below and I will reply as soon as possible. If you are not subscribed yet to my YouTube channel La Modelist, make it sure to hit that subscribe button and if you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up and I will see you guys again on the part 2 for the sewing of the hoodie corset. Abiento!